Tonight, the long road to an improbable comeback. You don't go through something like this and not have some sort of nervousness. Shattering the odds, Fort Worth police officer Matt Pierce returns to the streets. There are a lot of people out there that didn't think that I'd be able to come back to do this job. It's been 614 days since Officer Pierce was shot five times at point blank range and lived to tell about it. And the long months since that day have been filled with a lot of rest, a lot of recovery, and also relentless days of rehabilitation. Tonight, only on CBS 11, the final step in that long road back so. to the only thing that Matt Pierce wants to do, and that's be a street cop again. Got gassed up? Yep, good to go. Okay, so you're going to start with your weapon off of safe. Weapon shoulder, eyes on the sides, eyes on the target. This is the first time in 20 months that Fort Worth officer Matt Pierce has held a weapon with a range instructor judging his every move. Safety's on, elevator up. I have a healthy nervousness going back, and as I should. Um, you don't go through something like this and not have some sort of nervousness. It was March of 2016 when Pierce was hit five times at close range in a gun battle with Ed McIver Sr. When it ended, another officer had killed McIver Sr. and Pierce was on the edge of death. And then shot where again? Uh, twice in the shoulder, once here, which shattered the femur, once yeah, basically just went in and out of the back of my, of my hamstring. Right. Um, and then once right here in the face. You... That bandaged head is a lasting image of Matt Pierce from the days after being released from the hospital. But he tells me now that it was actually the inability to walk for over four months that really made him mad. I was just, I was so frustrated. Just, I mean, beyond frustrated. You know, frustrated at the point of tears. So, you know, I think that was kind of my thing that once I could finally walk, um, I thought, you know what, if I can walk, I can do this. All right, on the five-yard line, go ahead and draw your weapon out to the ready. And he has more therapy sessions than he can count, classes to stay current with the department, and just days ago, his biggest hurdle. Basically, I have to get a doctor. I have to get, to get my head to get my doctor to agree that I'm ready to go back to the job, which wasn't a, a hard thing because all the functional capacity exams show that technically I'm well enough to do the job. As of today, Officer Pierce has jumped through every single hoop to get back to being a street cop, except qualifying with his duty weapon, the very same one the day he was shot. After one hour, it is finally done. Fort Worth Officer Matt Pierce is back. This is all pistol center mass, though, right? This is all pistol center mass, yeah. 614 days after the worst moment of his life, the best moment of his new life. To not go back to me is losing, and I'm not, I'm not about to lose. I didn't come this far to lose. Um, and, and to not go back would be that, you know, the guy that shot me wins, and that ain't gonna happen. I refuse to let that happen. So you may be wondering, Matt's married, he's got a couple of kids, young, uh, young daughters. Matt told me that his wife in particular is as nervous now as she was the day that he signed up to be an officer, but she knows and she supports what it means to him to be an officer. And tomorrow, Matt's going to report to the Fort Worth Police Department for the first time since that day in his uniform, ready for duty and ready to go. The human spirit. Yeah. Uh, first of all, I'm so happy you mentioned his wife because... As a mom and as a wife, all, sure. that's all I could think about watching this. When you talk about the blue out there, and anybody who has police in their in their friendship circle or in their family, it's the families that worry the most yes. when they walk out the door every day. We know that. Do we know when he'll actually be back out on the street? So here's the deal: uh, it's going to be up to the chief, right? He, that got to put the stamp of approval and say, "Okay, you're ready." Matt said he wants to go out with an FTO, a field training officer, almost like a rookie again, to make sure that he gets back in after this 20-month absence the right way, which I think is great. Uh, and the other thing is, if it was up to Matt. He will be on patrol tomorrow, but we don't know if that's going to happen. That's, again, all up to the chief. Wow. I mean, what an extraordinary will and what an incredible story, Doug. Thank you very much for sharing it. Thank you. Well, listen, thanks to Matt for allowing us yes. to be there with him as he uh, qualified with his weapons once again. And by the way, there's so much we discussed, and we couldn't fit everything into the story tonight. We're, you know, TV time, we're limited to a degree. So, so much more of the interview with Officer Pierce. We're going to post this online just a little bit. Go check out CBSDFW.com for a raw, unscripted conversation with Matt Pierce.